guys, Sick Designs again. Today I'll teach you how to make a realistic lighting studio in Cinema 4D. Now this is my own revision of one. This isn't copying somebody else's or anything like that. This is completely original. Uh, so I came up with this by myself. So the first thing we're going to do is go into Cinema 4D, go into Render Settings, change this to 1280 by 720 to make this HD. Then come down to Save, go to JPEG. And then go to anti-aliasing, changes the best, and the max level to 8x8. Okay, so we're done there. Let's just zoom out a little bit. Come up here to this cube icon and click it. And that'll drop down a cube. Make this taller. Make it wider. Longer. Just make this a pretty good sized cube here. Almost rectangular. Okay, now just bring it up above the floor here. I need to make this a little bit smaller. I don't know. You just kind of have to eye this yourself. Now we're going to come down here, create a material. We're going to check off specular and change the color to 150%. Just like that. And drag this onto your cube. Okay, now just zoom into the zoom into the cube so you till you see a grid. So just keep zooming till you see that right there. That's all I did. And now once we have that, if we go ahead and render preview this, that looks like crap. So now we're going to fix that. Uh, we're going to come up here to render settings. We're going to go to effect. And we're going to change it, change, uh, click on ambient occlusion and global illumination. All right, now we're going to come down to the cube icon again, drop down a plane. And create another new material real quick, and we're going to check on uh, luminance here. Bring this up to 200% luminance. Okay, and uh, with their plane selected, we're going to go up to MoGraph, go to Cloner, drag the plane into the Cloner. And if you want to bring this up, just click the Cloner so it moves all three of them. Now we're just going to change this, uh, change the count. Go to grid array and change the count to two by one by two. All right, now we're just gonna have to stretch this out, something like that. And so you can see we've got that right there. And we need to bring it a little bit closer. No, this is up to you guys. I'm just going to do something like that, and then I'm just going to bring this up to where it's still kind of in the camera's view. And I'm going to bring it back. I do apologize for my computer freezing it up here. It seems to do that quite a bit when I record, so I do apologize for that. Okay, so something like that, right in there, just so it's kind of like in the camera's view, just a little bit of it. Out this material we created down here, the one with the, the luminance checked on and 200%, just drag this onto uh, the plane here, onto the plane. But now whenever you have uh, ambient inclusion and global illumination checked on, we can go ahead and press the render preview button, and this should give us a nice little uh, uh, lighting lighting studio here that looks looks pretty good so you can see here uh, we've got this kind of box looking effect here and we've got some shadows on the wall and it's kind of darker gray and then here it's kind of lighter now to make this a little bit more impressive we can drop down a sphere and I'm not gonna spend much time on this but just for this tutorial to show you the kind of uh, reflections we can get here. Just double click down here, change the color to whatever you want. So I'm going to make this a red sphere. And I'm going to come down here to reflection and I'll do about 50%. It may be a little bit too much. I don't know. I'll do, do 45. Okay. And now that we have that, we can just. Well, I guess my sphere got deleted somehow. Odd. So I'm going to go and create another sphere. 
now I'm going to drag this onto the sphere. And if we render preview that, we should have some pretty nice reflections on the on the sphere here. So as you can see there, we've kind of got uh, these lights reflecting off of this ball. And then the ball actually reflecting the floor and the walls. So that does look quite nice. And... You know, you can you can play around with the brightness and the, uh, you know, of the reflection. You know, you turn it down, then it won't reflect near as much, or reflect it near as brightly. But whenever we're going to preview this, you can see that gives us a nice little reflection. And, you know, you can play around with the spacing of the planes up here, the lights, to make this look different. But that's essentially the look we're going for. So that was uh, really fairly simple to do and has a really nice effect. So uh, if you like this tutorial, uh, if it helped you out, please let me know. Uh, leave a comment below. Give this video a thumbs up. And please subscribe to my channel. I'd really appreciate it. And always keep in mind, I will return the favor to you. So, uh, yeah, that's all I have for you today. And uh, I'll see you guys next time.